This one is one BR on the left, one H on the right. So they are totally different product. So the question is, is there a molecule that is major? And is there a molecule that is minor? Yes, there is. And this is what we're going to discuss right now. So this is the most important part in your entire alkene chemistry, even in the new syllabus, especially even more important in the new syllabus. They ask a lot of questions regarding about who is major, who is minor, and the explanation behind it. Now, I'm going to show you what's the rationale. Can we turn over to the next page? We're going to talk about the reasoning. So the reasoning here is what we call the stability of a carbocation. Now, what is the meaning of carbocation? It means the carbon that is positive charge. This is the carbocation we are talking about. So let's take a look at the fundamental here in terms of what, what control the stability of carbocation. We call this as a inductive effect. Like induced effect. So let me give you an example here. We have two different types of group existing in the molecule. And this is the fundamental of the entire organic chem. First one is called donating group. Yes, there's group that donate electron. There are also group redraw electron. So they are group donate, they are group that redraw. Let's talk about what happens if you donate electron. So initially your carbon is positive charge. Now what happens if you have a group here? Donate electron. Remember electron is negative charge? Negative move to positive. What happened to the positive? It becomes less positive, right? But we don't call it as less positive in chemistry term. We have a different name. We call it as dispersion of the positive charge. Uh, that is the meaning. Then as a general rule of thumb, how do I know a molecule is stable or non-stable? Uh, maybe you can put the note here. A stable molecule is something that is neutral in charge. Uh, neutral in charge. That means it doesn't have any positive, it doesn't have any negative. This is the most stable. So if you come back to this molecule again, this is the positive charge. I keep on donating electron to the positive. This positive will slowly disappear. We call it as dispersion. So you approach more and more neutral. Hence, it will stabilize the carbocation. So donating stabilize carbocation. What about withdrawing? But withdrawing is a different phenomenon. I pull electrons away from the carbon. Wow, this carbon here will become more positive. Remember, your carbon got electron, you pull more electron away. This positive becomes even bigger or more positive. But we don't say even bigger positive or more positive. We call it as intensify the positive charge. Right? This will be the key we use. Intensify the positive charge. And therefore, you are more positive, you are less neutral. So therefore, you destabilize the carbocation. So as a general rule of thumb, the more donating group you have, or you have a donating group, is going to help to stabilize the carbocation. Redrawing? No, not, not so much. So we take a look right below. So we have different group here. I hope you start to recognize what is this. This is metal cation because this is a cation with no R group. This is one R group, two R group, three R group. Let's focus on the primary, secondary, and tertiary. As a general rule of thumb, who is considered to be electron donating group? Electron donating group in general are hydrocarbon. So whenever you see hydrocarbon appearing, this is by default donating. What is considered as a withdrawing group? By default, is a halogen. The halogen can be Cr, can be Br, can be I, so on and so forth. Okay? This is electron withdrawing group. So right now we have primary, secondary, and tertiary. So you can see that this is an R group. R group in general is CXHY. 
Oh, I don't need one. This R group don't need twice. This third R group don't need three times. Remember when you donate, they donate electrons all. So if you donate so much electron for the tertiary, what will happen to the positive? I think it almost disappeared. Nothing there. So this is the most neutral. Relatively to the one with the primary, donate ones, mm, neutralize a little bit, but still got some lag. So relatively, yeah, this is less stable. And this one will be the most stable because I don't need so much electron, I make the positive charge disappear already or disperse the positive charge. Hence, it's the most stable. Now, here's the thing. Alkyl is donating. Like I mentioned before, CXHY is normally the alkyl group. The greater the number of alkyl group, the more stable the carbocation. There is a reason why we say tertiary is the most stable, followed by secondary, then primary, followed by metal cation. There's no positive charge. There's no R group at all. So this is what we call the inductive effect. This is the fundamental of your entire organic chemistry. Is everybody following? Hey, for the online student, are you clear with this one? Inductive effect, donating, rejoin. Donating is more stable. Uh, rejoin is less stable. If you got it, you can type the group chat as yes. If you're not sure, let me know which part. Okay, good. So can we take a look together on the next page?